Hello guys, my name is CG Panda, and today I will show you how you can create some realistic grass in Blender 2.8. The creation of grass consists of four easy steps. We will start off by creating the basic mesh. This step is followed by creating the material. After that we need to set up the particle system for our grass and in the end we will improve the result. The mesh is basically just a plane which is scaled on the set axis with some loop cuts in the middle. The mesh is also edited by using some proportional editing. You can also create multiple grass meshes to create some variation. The grass shader is a little bit more complex. First add a texture coordinate. Connect the generated output to the vector of a 3D noise texture. The color output will be connected to the color input of a bright contrast node. The color output will be plugged into a mix RGB node. You can adjust the colors to a green color. This node will be connected to a diffuse shader. Now plug this node into a mix shader node. The second part of this node will be fed by a glossy shader. The first mix shader node will be plugged into a second mix shader node. A translucent shader will feed the other shader input. In the end plug the mix shader node into the material output. In the third step we will create the particle system for our grass. To do so add a new particle system and set it to hair. Activate the advanced option. Set the render to render as collection or object and set the instance object or collection to your grass mesh. You might need to adjust the scale of your grass. Activate the scale randomness to achieve some variation in your grass. You should also activate rotation and higher the randomized phase value. You might need to change the rotation axis if the object is rotated on the wrong axis. In the end increase the number to add more grass to the scene. Now we will improve our render result. While comparing our grass to real grass you will probably notice that the grass is looking way too uniform. Real grass has a lot of variation and different colors but we can recreate this look in Blender. Plug two color ramps into the mix RGB node and connect them to object info nodes. Every time the mesh is now duplicated it will get a new color within the range of the color ramp. We can also use weight maps to control the density of the grass. You can assign them in the vertex groups of the particle system. You can also add some dry grass patches to create an even more realistic look.